Yeah, Dan. Yo, what up, South Florida? Woo! Hell yeah. Almost everything he said was true, except about me being very talented. <laughs> I'm about to find out that my comedy is about as memorable as a date with Bill Cosby. <laughs> yeah, speaking of which, that shit fucking ruined my childhood love for Jello pudding snacks. I can never again think about that nice creamy pudding melting in my mouth without envisioning Cosby's cum. <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, you'll find out soon enough that my comedy is about as I'm about as good at comedy as Michael J. Fox was at the Mannequin Challenge. <laughs> oh, nobody remembers that shit. <laughs> I swear this is one hell of a stiff fucking crowd. I feel like I'm in a fucking comatose clinic. <laughs> So anyway, moving on from that shit, one thing I do hate about the news, aside from desecrating my childhood, most of the time the news doesn't tell us anything we don't already know. Like, I'm sure most of us already knew long before, a couple weeks ago, that El Paso is a shithole. Yep. But yeah, don't worry, I'm not going to say anything more about El Paso, because I really don't feel like getting shot. <laughs> but I will say, I do wonder if every fucking casino now is now going to change the name of that card game, Texas Hold'em. <laughs> so, speaking of which, speaking of names, um, you know, one thing I hate is how all these fucking natural disasters keep on naming themselves after actual people's names and after the disaster gets really bad. It fucks things up permanently for people who have that fucking name. I mean, think about all the poor women named Katrina who can no longer visit New Orleans ever again. And I'm sure in the past 25 years, no parents down here in South Florida have named their son Andrew. <laughs> But yeah, what makes even less sense is nowadays with all the shit that's going on, there's still parents who name their fucking son Gunner or Shooter. <laughs> so like, what the fuck? You can never what? take them to the fucking terminal while they're a kid. Imagine them running away at the fucking airport, you chasing after them. Shooter! Shooter! <laughs> Gunner, come back! Gunner! <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to get your child fucking killed. <laughs> so, I grew up in the 90s and anybody, has anybody seen that Michael Jackson documentary, Leaving Neverland? Yeah. You know, I, hell yeah, I watched it and I do gotta say, yes, I feel horrible for the kids he molested, but I actually feel even worse for the kids who met him who he didn't molest. I mean, imagine how fucking insecure they must feel. Michael Jackson was not a picky motherfucker, so if you met MJ when you were a kid and he didn't try to fuck you, obviously it's because you were ugly as shit. <laughs> yeah, you must be an ugly motherfucker if somebody who looks like Michael Jackson wouldn't fuck you. Because <laughs> Michael Jackson was almost like the fucking Rocky Dennis of celebrities. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, my mother has the same physical appearance. That bitch is ugly as shit. Every time I look my mom in the eye, I feel like the fucking narrator in Edgar Allan Poe's story, The Telltale Heart. Well, nobody here knows shit about English. I mean, we are in South Florida. I wouldn't expect people here to be familiar with English. <laughs> Yeah, South Florida is pretty much Auschwitz territory. It's a breeding ground for Jews who are prepared to die. <laughs> but yeah, South Florida, especially Miami, is like the one fucking city in the U.S. where you can be a complete OCD meat freak, but if you're white, you can never mention that you're sick in Spain. <laughs> But yeah, I actually the other night did a show in Miami and they told me that I had to watch my mouth. I'm like, seriously? 
I have to wash my mouth. Do you mean a show in the one fucking city in the U.S. that is new beaches? <laughs> what next am I going to go to fucking Vegas and are they going to say to me, all right, refrain from telling any jokes about drugs or prostitution? <laughs> so, going back to Michael Jackson, you know, I will say he was a smart motherfucker. He actually, the fact that he bleached his skin before fucking all those kids. I mean, seriously, can you imagine if he was fucking all those kids while he was still a black man? They would have had his ass put away for life. <laughs> And speaking of 90s figures, I don't know if anybody here is familiar with Macaulay Culkin, but if you are, I find it ironic as shit that the dude who starred in a movie called Home Alone now looks homeless. <laughs> if they ever make a long-awaited sequel with starring him, it'll be about him being left behind at a fucking shelter. <laughs> and he'll be setting all those booby traps for every crackhead who tries to break in. <laughs> but yeah, speaking of which, yes, I grew up in the 90s and... Well, he's giving me the wrap it up. And all the way the set's going, why the fuck couldn't my mom give my dad the same signal? <laughs> yeah, at least the internet's easy as fuck nowadays, I'll say that much. I mean, remember back then when it would take 25 minutes just to see a fucking tip? Yep. Yeah, nowadays 12 year old wants a boner, it's a quick click of the button and they get a full movie. <laughs> And not to mention, at least now, in buffers, it's a silent buffer. Not like that really annoying shit back then when it sounded like Smeagol from Lord of the Rings having a fucking seizure. <laughs> so, wow, I haven't bombed this guy since Trump honored me for ISIS. So, before I go, I want to say that, um... <laughs> What's it called? Yes, I'm a foul mouthed Jew from Philly. I'm Jewish, but I actually wish that I were black instead. I mean, aside from us known for having more money, we get all the worst stereotypes. Blacks are known for having huge dicks that attract all bitches. Us Jews are known for having tiny dicks that we barely fucking use. <laughs> and also, we got the shittiest taste in food. I mean, blacks have way better taste in food than us Jews. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. Fried chicken is fucking delicious. Yep. So is watermelon. I mean, us Jews were known for liking what? Hummus, the filter fish, herring. All that shit's as fucking nasty as it sounds. <laughs> When's the last time you've been to a fucking seafood joint and then had your server say, Our fresh catch of the day, pickled herring, caught straight from the dead sea. <laughs> Alright, so obviously this crowd is just like Hitler. It wants to kill this Jew from its lack of response. <laughs> so, before anybody tries to stab me, I'm gonna hand the mic back to your host, y'all. Woo! Yeah, dead! Dead man!